see that gravy? <laughs> that was. Hello, hello, hello. Alright. Let's see here. What do we want to do? Let's load up our scene here. Alright. Um, hello, 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 people. Uh, let me just quickly... Like this is like the music is really loud. I'm just gonna lower this down. There, I'm just gonna lower it down just a little bit. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, this is okay. Uh, for me, music seems, seems a little bit loud, so I'm just gonna lower it down. All right. So what are we gonna do today? Um, to me, this seems this still feels really high poly and I'm gonna have to before I UV this stuff I'm gonna just clean up a bunch of this stuff I just feel like this is just way too high poly obviously like there's so much wasted space here so I'm gonna do a bunch of cleaning up today I think hold on let me just check my chat there we go got my chat open there we go perfect perfect so yeah, I mean like starting from like right here to 
should I... Right? I can just collapse this, I feel. Because it's just so... Um, where's collapse? There used to be a collapse tool here. Okay, so it looks like they took the collapse tool out from there. Uh, let me see, triangulate, reduce faces. No. Yeah, they used to have a tool. I guess I'm gonna have to just edit mesh. Let's see, where's the collapse tool? Did they rename the collapse tool? No, 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 no. Oh my god, they did. Why? So what do they call it now? What's the collapse tool now? Well, here it is. So yeah, it's gonna look it's gonna look pretty dirty right now. But once I finish this, it's gonna look fine. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty dirty right now, but but see me reducing the the polys here didn't change the shape at all, right? So that's why it's like really important. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Okay, let me just let's go to the top view here and let's just this is probably gonna be way faster if I could just go like this for now and then just go. Yeah, I can't believe they got rid of that. Uh, so now I actually have to go here and then collapse from here. I'm just gonna put this into my shelf into my shelf here. Let's go something like that. No, so I didn't like that either. Okay. Let's just go something like this. Two verts. Merge center. Right, I've already got rid of like 2,000 triangles already, right? So I'm just going to clean this up. Gonna do a bunch of this here. I know this looks really dirty. I mean, what am I doing? I can just no, no, no. I need to do this. So talk to myself here. No, that might be too much. The problem with this is that it just gets so dirty. Like everything just gets so. You know what? Forget it. I think we're just gonna leave it as is for now.
just wish there was an easy way to solve this problem here. I guess I can just start by really annoying to have to do here but So this is a lot better compared to what I was doing before. This is a little bit more tedious though, obviously, but things are a lot cleaner. I'm going to have to like triangulate a bunch of this stuff, obviously, but oh, that's a lot easier than what I was doing before. <clears throat> um... Yeah, this isn't the most fun thing to watch. I mean, to be fair though, I was going to be UVing today. Or that's kind of the, the next step, right? So, the next couple of streams might not be as fun to kind of watch just because you might not be learning too much, but... Um, but it's a process that kind of needs to get done, and... For anyone who's trying to learn how to UV, it might be a good, good next few streams or whatever, but... I'm gonna try and UV as fast as I can because I know that's not the most exciting, um, most exciting thing to watch, right? Okay, I also realized I just found the the merge tool in the hot menu. Smerge collapse, collapse edge. Oh shoot! Yeah. So yeah, so I just found it. So I'm just gonna remove that from the menu. I like using hot menus as much as I can or pie menu or whatever they call it.
Already, I've reduced the polys quite a bit. And this is from just having so much geo for the sub Ds, right? And now just going back and having to clean up um, essentially the mesh. Because again, there's a lot of polys here that are needed and is considered a waste, right? And this is only going to make UVing more difficult as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to continue to just kind of clean this up. Like I'm wondering if I even need this one. Let me see. Yeah, see, like that one wasn't even needed. Right? I'm just gonna do a quick save here. Hold on, let me just make sure that my stream is even working right now. Okay, it is. Okay, it's good. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Everything looks like it's on track. Okay. So now I'm starting to think that I need to get rid of these ones as well. I'm just gonna go one more here just to Yeah, see that's pretty good. Again, this might not look like it's worth doing, but if you're modeling for video games, like you need to kind of keep these as low as possible. And then I need to kind of go in and make sure I add in some polys and stuff like that because that's these are five sides. I, like I'm creating five sided polygons, which is also not a good thing as well. So yeah, gotta go in and uh, make sure I, I tweak that as well. Okay. Okay. Let's see what is this needed. No. So essentially just going in and just cleaning up any loops that I feel are not helping. Right, so this is already half the polys that it was at before. Uh, and I feel like we can still reduce it because again, this is completely flat. And look how dense the mesh is, right? There's a lot of wasted polys, so. I'm going to continue to reduce this. Um,
I wonder if it's useful. Like I noticed that some people have um, that input um, thing that kind of pops up. Just kind of shows you what buttons I'm pressing. Like I don't know if that's uh, something that would be of value for people. But for now, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I just want to focus on just practicing on my art. I think that's the most important thing. I don't know if my Nightbot's actually working. Should probably check. Like, I don't know how Nightbot, like, am I supposed to kick him out every single time and then bring him back in every single time I launch? I don't... Still new to this thing, so... So I don't really know how it works, but... I do have to say I'm pretty impressed with Twitch so far with my experience. Um, they've done a really good job. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna try and boot them out. Let's go to dashboard. Let's go to part channel. Join channel. See if that kind of reboots everything. I don't really know if that will or not, um, but we'll see. So I don't. Like I don't know any of the commands. I'm trying to work out the commands and stuff like that. But oh, commands. That's what it is. Oh, filters. Jeez. Filters, no filter specified possible values. Um, oh, okay, so I can go like this. Filters and then links. Cruise dash for links filter disabled. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, then I can go. Uh, okay, that's good. Filter. Um, links enabled. How did it work? Oh, filters, link, links enabled, enable, oh. filters, links, enable, there you go, cool. Okay, so there we go. Learning. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Nightbot. Okay. Alright, let's continue cleaning this up here. Shaggy. I'm just gonna delete. No, that's not what I want to do. Let's go like something like this. Let's delete that. Oh boy. Okay, it's starting to look pretty uh, haggard here. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to go in and start cleaning that up pretty soon. Um, yeah, we'll go in and we'll, we'll clean that 
clean that up later here. Um, first, let's continue to do this clean. This is starting to look a lot better. Still would like to reduce a little bit more of it. So let's just go in and let's just continue to reduce this here. A lot nicer. Yes, there's still wasted polys, but it's gonna be a little bit better. See, so that's looking a lot better already. Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking too much here. Just wanna focus and get this moving. This is a project that's been going on for way too long. And again, it's that PUBG addiction, man. I got really into that game. Like really, really into that game. Now it's time for me to start balance this, balancing this out a bit more. Typically I have weekends where I'm going to just play PUBG. But I don't know man, lately I've just been itching to, to get some artwork done. So that's what I'm doing. I just realized that these aren't actually doing anything. Wow, so I'm going to be saving a lot of polys here. Tons and tons of polys here. Just realize that, like, you see when I delete these faces, nothing's actually changing. So these are actually not doing anything. These are waste polys as well. Um, so, yeah. This 
This is from my sub D mesh that I created. Yeah, I had created a sub D mesh. And hold on, I'm just delete history, save the scene. Uh, this came from my sub D mesh, and um, when I smoothed it, that's what happened. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna have to go in, clean this up. It's gonna add in a little bit more polys, just because I'm gonna be doing it, but it's gonna be worth it. So. Um, let's go in, let's clean up some of this stuff here. Do I really need all these polys? Probably not. So we're gonna go and we're gonna delete a bunch of this stuff. Yeah, get some of that stuff. And there's a bunch right here. There we go. Let's clean a bunch of this stuff up. Okay, there we go. That's looking a lot better. Now it's time to cut these into here. Start making some cuts. And again, like, you're never gonna see the bottom of this thing. Like, we're never gonna show the bottom of this. So, I'm not, not too, too, I'm not too, too worried. Um, Oh, I should cut like this here. Oh. Man, this the new multi-cut tools and stuff that I admire are so good. Yeah. 
so it's just gonna be like that for now. Just gonna delete some more edges here. Okay, so there's still a bunch of edge loops here that can be removed. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I don't remember the exact number of polys this um, before I started was, but I can almost guarantee you, I'm pretty sure it was like 12,000 triangles or something. I guess I can always go back to the VODs or whatever to check, but... But it was like a really high number, and now we're all the way down to... gonna make this a little bit easier here and then this one don't really know what to do with this one I might have to Been wasting all this time. Just be 
I'm trying to think here. Like, this is essentially just redoing everything that I just did. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. So we got this piece here, right? We're gonna extrude it. Right, then we're gonna do it one more time. And this time we're gonna whoa. So we're gonna take the vertices. And we're gonna merge oh merge the center. There. There. That should make it. So we're gonna look at this. We're just gonna take a go around like that. And all the edges. There we go. Alright, so now we have a lot more usable mesh. Alright, we got 15. No. I do need to make sure that this. Let's go back. Go to verts. Make sure that I snap. Oh, make sure that I snap this all the way to the bottom. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. See, no one's really gonna see the bottom, right? So it was just me cleaning it up and feeling good about cleaning it up because before it's looking pretty janks. Um, now for this, I feel this needs to do a better job. Let me see here. This needs to do a better job at hitting the ground because I feel like it's not. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to modeling or um, deformation. I'm just gonna use a lattice on this, I think. Yeah, I think something like that. Just to kind of. I'm just gonna select this, kill the history on it. Delete all these empty nodes. This is essentially just cleaning at this point. The curve I'll keep for now. What is all this stuff? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Because I have it isolated, sir. So I'm just gonna go isolate. So this should be a lot better now. Okay, so let's just um. Let's export everything out, bring it into Marmoset, and let's see how it looks in Marmoset. Uh, how long have I been streaming for here? 46 minutes, not bad. Um, I may stream a little bit later tonight as well, we'll see. It is my weekend, so I do also not, I also don't want to burn out and like work so much. That I don't enjoy myself, right? So we'll see how it goes tonight. I would love to play some PUBG tonight, but I really want to also get this scene um, looking pretty pretty decent as well. So let's see here. Um, I need to re-import this bad boy. So let's just do that. SNES and then the controller. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah, so now it's sitting in on the floor a lot better. Um, cool. I always screw up and move these cameras. What? I, I should lock these cameras. Let me lock these cameras so that you can't move them. So that way, if I go like this, I can't move them. Oh my god, so, so genius. Locking your cameras. Uh, what's this floor? Oh, that's the, is that the catcher? No, that's not the catcher. Move the floor. Yeah, shadow catcher's, catcher's right there. Sweet. All right, so now I can go to this here and not really much of an update except for a bunch of optimization stuff just went in. Um, hold on here, where's my... Cool, okay. Um, there you go, I have my brother-in-law already hopping on and playing PUBG. And that's essentially what happens, right? It's like... We have a chance to play PUBG and it's like we want to play, right? So, especially when we, when it's the weekend, we want to play with each other. Um, okay. Um, let's see here. So, everything else is looking pretty good. Um... Do I want to go in and tweak some of this? I don't know if I really want to. Because this is about 2,000. 2,000 is not even that bad, to be honest with you, when it comes to polys for um, for wires. And it's the only wire that I have, too, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, so let's start UVing. Let's UV at least one of these things before I, I head out here. Um, sorry. Alright, so let's get into some UVing. Um, so let's do this part. Um, panels, save panels. Perspective UV editor. There we go. And then we're going to have to put the UV editor. Hold on, so let's go back to perspective. Go to UV editor. Oh no, sorry, UV editor. I'm gonna put this UV tool set into here. And I find that pretty useful. Panels, saved, UV, perspective UV editor. Obviously when I'm at work, I have this UV editor onto separate screen, right? Um, but that's not the case here, so. Um, oh, is this a new feature? Let's see. So two shells. Oh. Okay. So let's just. Uh, I mean, I can clean this up too, right? Like I'm okay. You know what? Let's let's clean this up. Before I get into UVing, I just noticed I can clean this up a bit. Let's see. Let's see if I can or not. If this breaks it, then I won't, but... Whoa, that just exploded. Um... Because I'm noticing that, like... Probably don't need that. But without the support, it starts to look really bad. So, you know, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, so let's start with... Okay, hold on. Let's see a five-sided polygon here. Okay. 
just gonna create. Um, what am I doing? Hold on, I gotta be in my other UV perspective. UV. There we go. Some of these new tools are really cool. I'm just gonna shove this out to the side here, and then I'm also gonna turn on. Oh jeez, this is so bad. There we go. Oh, they actually added that feature. Oh my god. Maya, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. There's been so many things that I've asked for from Maya. Um, and uh, I'm glad that they're finally putting a bunch of stuff in there. Like, I don't know what... What is this? Is this texture... Is this a border... Texture borders. Oh my god. Maya, thank you. Thank you. I knew I wasn't asking for too much. I knew I wasn't asking for too much. Yeah, so yeah. They've really improved a lot of this stuff, which is really awesome. Good on Maya. Um, I don't want to do this. Um, uh, let's go with normal based. So what it kind of gives gives me here. Yeah, so it kind of gave me a pretty crappy. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, unfold it. Always fix non-manifold gesture. <laughs> Didn't screw up anything, so thank gosh. I don't like how it flated out like that, though. Let me just go back to my regular settings. Ew. Okay, no. Okay, so let's keep... Okay, so let's just make an edge here. Let's cut it. Uh, let's go to shell. Let's go to layout. Sorry, not layout. Unfold. Okay, I'm gonna. I have a hockey that I like it to use. Uh, that is not set up right now. So we're gonna set it up. I don't know why it's tilting. To be honest with you. Okay, hold on. This is starting to this is starting on me. I'm gonna have to put give put in my, my hockey here. Nope, no plugins. Windows hockey editor. Um, two UV. Control F12. No, Alt S. Save. Okay. So now let's just go like that. It just selects the UVs for me, which is nice. Um, let's go align. Nope, we don't want that. Um, Let's go create again and let's go create by normal based. Yeah, there we go. That makes things a lot cleaner. Straight. I want to do the same thing for this one as well. I'm just gonna um, normal based. Wow, that is just like next level. I love that. That is so good. Good job, Maya. Oh boy. That's next level stuff right there. Okay. I don't give Maya enough credit, but they've improved their tools, which is a big shocker for a lot of people. I'm glad that they're listening because from what I hear, like Blender is killing it, right? Um, 
And I'll be honest with you, even myself, I've been contemplating uh, learning Blender just because it's free, right? Like, there, it doesn't hurt for me to learn Blender. But I've been kind of hesitant because I'm like, man, like that's just more time that I need to invest into learning a brand new software. I have a few tutorials and stuff like that I've purchased already, ready to go for when I want to switch over. Um, but Maya's making a pretty good case right now on trying to keep me here and not moving to another piece of software. Now that being said, I still, I mean, again, Blender's free. It's hard to, it's hard to compete against free, right? So, based, shoot, like so, let's go like this, normal based, uh, Again, these are not proper pixel density right now. I'm, I'm not, I haven't uh, done that just yet. I will. Um, I'm gonna take a look at my reference photo here. Uh, pure ref. Whoops, wrong window. Here's my pure ref. Um, so let's take a look here, right? So you can see that this is like that. So that kind of goes wrapped around. So, yeah, so I can just stop. All right, cool. So what I can do is I can have it wrap around maybe How do I do this? Okay, so I have that, that. Now the back, see the back of this thing? Okay, yeah, so the back. Okay, so let's have the back. Kind of go like this. Is that five sided? No, it's four. All right. Normal based. Oh my god, dude, this normal based thing is so good. So good. Love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, and then this part gets a little bit tricky. So, what I'm gonna do here is I might have to. Go through the sides here. I might go automatic map. Let's go. Um, there we go. That's a little bit nicer. What I'll do is I will unfold it as well. Oof. This is looking pretty uh, haggard here. Hold on. There we go. Just wanted to make a cut there because it was definitely creating some weird things going on. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Right now, I just gotta duplicate that kind of thinking on this side. Stop that thrill. My bones 
Okay, so I also have to be careful too though, because I have to unfold these, because something tells me that these could be better unfolded. So I'm just gonna unfold, optimize. Yeah, I think that helped out a lot. I'm just, yeah, see? So when I unfolded it, looks a lot better. And then now we have this. Oh no, what's that? After I UV this, I'm gonna have to head out. I'm gonna go grab my daughter and Hang out with her for a bit. It's gonna be fun because um, I just purchased Substance Painter 2 because it was on sale. So I can't wait to actually get in there and, and work on some substance as well. part now this is gonna get a little bit sticky so I might have to go something like hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to So there we go. We'll go normal based. And then on top of that, we'll also optimize it as well. There we go. Yeah, some of these UV tools are just so good right now. Loving it, loving it. Um, Auto Desk has done a really good job. Let's go faces. Um, normalized. Right, go like this. Optimize. Okay, so what do I have left here? I see a bunch of. I see what's this one? Okay, so that one that just didn't move out into its own little 
piece. So we got that going. What else is there? So there's a bunch of these pieces. I don't know what these are. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this probably... Huh, how do I want to do these? These are... Okay, so these are gonna be, let's go automatic mapping. Yeah, these are gonna be tiny though. Super small. Oh. oh my god, I hate when. Like, why does it do this? Okay, hold on. I hate it when it does this. And I don't know how to stop it from doing it. It's the worst part. Hold on, I'm just going to have to restart my scene here. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying. Now to restart the whole scene, the whole thing. Okay. So these are super small. Cool. So now we have all this stuff going on. Take a look at this. Um, let's go to UVs. Where's UVs? Oh. Um, so let's go to. Okay, so let's set it. So now everything should be. All right, this map is gonna be. If I could fit everything into one sheet, that would be pretty crazy. I think if I could fit everything into one sheet. Do I want to do that? That's the thing. That's the question. Do I really want to do that? Or do I want to make separate sheet per thing? Like make controller separate sheet. I guess. I guess we can always kind of see how that works out. Um, so now I'm just gonna lay it out. So not everything should kind of all be the same. So this is essentially done UV'd for now. Let's go back to perspective mode. And again, like you don't see any of this changing anywhere. What the? Did I just? I think I might have accidentally. Details. Get modified. Yeah, I just accidentally overwrote my controller so let's go controller C 
cartridge. There we go. I don't like the fact that I have to constantly do that too. Controller. The pivot points gets all messed up. Stop the stream for now. Um, how long did I stream for? I stream for about an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna stop the stream from here. Um, so we optimized the console a little bit. We um, UV the cartridge. We're gonna go in, probably UV the controller next, and then UV the console. And then we'll start doing some texture work, which is always the really fun part. So, all right, thank you so much. See you guys again next time.